Hello, welcome to another midweek musings with Sam and Fee. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it just skipped a bit then, so I didn't actually hear what you said. I know our internet connection is. It's going a bit dodgy enough. today. Well, we've been chatting. Mm. Um. Yes. All. All well, I suppose. Here. That's very convincing. Uh, I I propose that we get stand business out of the way before we get into how we're faring and what's going on. Um, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah. You wanted to touch on, yeah, obviously for oh. those who, um, yeah, we sort of um manage, not run, but manage and stuff for a stand in the park uk um all of the stuff and yeah we for a stand in the park uk yes yeah. um and yeah we've, we've sort of had another weeks and troughs of stuff like this um and late, lately there's been a sort of risk people turning up at parks and not finding anyone um and it was just something we wanted to touch on yeah do you want to yeah, I mean, we have talked about this ad nauseum. It's been an ongoing issue from way back, actually. Um, on the positive side, it's we're getting a lot of new people and a lot of people reporting that. We have that hours. We on have part, hours. And I've got a, a tiny little lovely, lovely stand here, my local one. And we've had an influx of newbies and this is happening everywhere which is wonderful what isn't wonderful is when pe these people are showing up to parks and not finding anyone now as we've explained before um people don't contact us in general to say oh we're we're not meeting anymore um also you know the, the chances are this has happened a lot is that even when people do kind of disband or, you know, the numbers of people out, people haven't bothered, new people have always shown up. And we've had so many cases where these new people have got the stand going again. If that park had been taken off the list, they wouldn't have gone there in the first place and you wouldn't have had this amazing new gathering. So we're very reluctant to just remove um parks off the list just because a few people or you know whoever whoever's been there they they're not interested anymore or they've got their own reasons it's not I'm not running anybody down um so we're often quite reluctant to just remove them anyway because the interest is still there and that's the main point about all of this is there is so much interest still there um so I will always try or Sam We'll always try and make contact with with whoever's details we've got um, when the park was first advertised to see what the situation is when people are getting in contact and saying we couldn't find anyone. Sometimes it's a case that they've literally just not seen them or they've been in the wrong area of the park or whatever. Um, others, you know, it's clear. But also, sometimes, yeah, I think sometimes as well, it's that people aren't necessarily getting there at 10 o'clock sort of getting there half 10 11 and, later. and yeah um I think there becomes a bit of a complacency yeah. when you do get a place where it's all sort of you know the reg they all sort of know they turn up a little bit later but whereas a new person will see it advertised turn up at 10 o'clock and if people aren't getting there till a little bit later or a lot later you see they're missing each other um so I think that's another it is another sort of important point important. Mm. Yeah, it I mean, is. they're not meeting. It may just be that they're not getting there at ten o'clock. Yeah, sort of and it's you know I've said it yourself. myself. Like, look, it doesn't have to be. You've got to be there on the dot, otherwise, you know. But you know, if you're looking half an hour later, it was okay for us to all get there at ten when we were desperate to meet people. But now we're. I'm all right, Jack. Uh, oh, we'll just meet when it's suited. I'd rather have a lion. This was ne This has never been about having a little clique, getting your little tribe. 
and then oh we'll we'll arrange it to suit ourselves now um it's it's a worldwide movement the time's there for a reason there's never going to be a time that we could come up with that people will not complain about because they've got other stuff so it had to be fixed on something that's what brady decided when he started in australia for various reasons um and that's you know we have to keep it at that um it's not about making it your own little comfortable thing because all oh, the pressure's off now. If it was okay for us to be getting there at 10 before because we really needed to meet people and wanted, and now we, we feel a bit more complacent, like you say, um, there are ways of managing it. You know, there are ways of managing it. You're always going to get the people that rock up way after if people have been to church or something and they can't get there and that's, you know, that's what they do, but the stands going fair enough, but we really do need some people or to do like a shift, you know, for the new people that yeah. turn up, bless you, because they are coming. They are turning up. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to go into a whole rant about this whole thing again, because we've been here many times before um people are very welcome to start up their own worldwide movements um that will work better for them if, if they want and work the the 80 hours a week to get it all fine if you you know go go for it good luck <laughs> and, um you know the more the merrier of these things that we can have but you know as it stands um that's the framework and just bring it back for those people that have been turning up and not finding anyone. Don't give up. You know, the fact that you are interested, you're not on your own. And we are very happy to re-advertise, get the word out. Yeah, this this is all kicking off again at this park to get people. That's what we always did. Um, so I think that's probably covered that. Um, I, on the note of it being, you know, something that seems to be um, resetting, I've seen it lately in the sort of awakened groups of, you know, is there anywhere where I can, you know, did people? Um, and thankfully, we when there's a lot of people that, you know, do mention the staff. Yeah. You know, as I say, we've we've had so many new people, actually, over the last... Yeah. Um, and I know from the group, the Facebook UK group, um, that there are a lot of standards and obviously over here in the UK and I think you know elsewhere America and stuff that things are starting to sort of go mm -hmm. down the route of all came about in the first place and and so I think people are sort of feeling that need again to back mm. with people that will not comply and sort of come up with you know plans and support you know what may develop over the coming months so um you know I think for me and and I we've got some lovely people at our stand and it has been a discussion recently being there at 10 and actually remembering that as much as the stand is for us you know very much other people and 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 being there for other people and welcoming yeah. him to this like-minded people um so yeah just remembering that actually you know it's not, um I think is my takeaway point yeah definitely we were all newbies ourselves once and we got to remember that this isn't just oh we we get our grit and that's the end it is this is growing and growing and growing and the it stands, is still very much evolving isn't it yeah and the stands remain the place to go really for for the newly kind of awakened whatever you want to call it the the people that are just starting to dip a toe in as well as you know others who, who maybe haven't felt it was the right time for them or you know there, there's a multitude of different reasons um but it still remains the port of call um here in the UK um for sure um and everyone's heard of it it's very easy um everyone knows what the premise is so Yes, there, there we go again. 
But the yeah, it's very, very positive news that there are so many people, new people coming and in a weird way getting these emails, although it's like, oh, they're not finding anyone. We are getting these emails. And that has been a constant, actually, the whole way through. There's always been a stream of new people. And I think it's starting to really pick up now. You can feel that there's been a shift and I think um, we're going to see a bit of a, a higher uptake again um, out of necessity because of how things are going at the Mo. Um, which probably segues quite nicely onto the protest next weekend. Um because that's going to be twenty third. Yeah. That's going to be the first sort of big one for a while, um, which we were chatting about. I'm really hoping to get down. Sam's definitely going to be there. I know a lot of people who are going. Yes, yeah, really, really going to stay. Yeah, um, it's like quite a while since we've attend on London and make a lot of noise, kind of protest, and I'm um, I'm quite excited. about I like being out there. Um, I like I like the very loud crowd kind of stand, you know, not just the small group on a Sunday, but a very stand of people saying we will not comply and, you know, handing out information, mm. sort of, you know, multiple I mean obviously London's a very, very busy city. So when you're marching in you know, there is the potential to reach so many people. Mm. Um that's the important thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a it's, really, um, I know, not everyone, but for me, it's something that I think is very valuable and very important. I'm uh, looking forward to heading down there. Yeah. Uh, for anyone in the UK, I don't know if there are country, but London is definitely uh, it's Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park, isn't it? Yes. Which, is it one o'clock? It's usually one. Yeah, I think is. I mean, we've, we've been sharing it. it. You'll see it posted on. Yes, one o'clock social media. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's it. For me, at this point, the most important part of the, of the march is that big presence is alerting the people that really don't know. So this is focused on you know what the WEF and the WHO and all those you know huge. Um, corporations are doing that so many people still don't know who the world's economic forum are they've got no idea and the hands they have in the way no, everything is run none at all no idea and it's that that sowing of seeds, isn't it? When you can hand a flyer to someone and there might not seem to be much of a reaction at that point, but it could well, and it does, we know this, just get something, oh, well, what's that if you've never heard of it? And and look into it and, and see where these things go. Um, and, you know, that's, that's where we're at, isn't it? Because you've still got the majority are looking to the mainstream for their information if they have heard about the WEF and the WHO it's going to be in glowing terms or at least you know very neutral it's not going to be the stuff that we know all about the tyrannical takeover by exactly <laughs> yes in a nutshell so for those that say oh well you know protesting it doesn't make any difference I kind of do actually beg to differ um not yeah. Oh, oh look, the government's just said, oh, <laughs> have all your freedom back. Um, not that it can never really be taken, but you know, just for these purposes, we'll just use that as an example. No. But when we really make our voices heard, legislation doesn't just get to slide through. There are we cause a lot of roadblocks and a lot of difficulties for them, and they don't get to just run roughshod over us when you've got thousands and thousands of people um, being very visibly opposed um, to what's going on uh, but also 
at the same time, yeah, you're not going to have them just oh throw up their hands and and oh yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll just we'll we'll go away now. You'll you'll never hear from us again. It's that reaching the people. It is that outreach. It is that contact with people who are just like what and and especially now, we're not in 2020. People have had three years of this shit, more more than. And they're not the same. People, the receptivity is not the same. We're not getting abused and and vilified like we were before. So much of what we were talking about putting out there has come to pass. People will not have realised until much further down the line. Oh, God, you know, that actually all those people that I thought were nutters, they've seen it unfold. Now. So there is a lot more willingness as well which is great because we're not facing just this brick wall that we were before so, so that... we're finding that with our outreach sort of with the yellow boards the the, the kind mm -hmm. of is hugely in, in you still get you know the people that you know shout at you between and the yeah. support is really good and i i find that i sort of you know daily when i'm out and about little conversations here and there um, particularly about cash when I'm paying. Yes. I was in uh, in town yesterday and I was chatting to the lady. Um, she obviously put the card. I'm paying cash. I like to pay cash. I have a little spiel that I said and like ha happily flips about my person. So uh, I sort of handed one and she went, oh, I'm going to put that. And so now there's a, you no, know, yellow right. cash is freedom leaflet going out. Brilliant. And I've just perception when you actually talk to people it's it's so much more positive and people do to sort of be a lot more open to kind of well I, I I'm not going but I didn't quite realize you know how bad it was or or, or whatever and it's it does make me feel really positive with every little mini conversation I have with someone in a shop yeah a bit more like you know there's still hope there is, and that can be, you know, with the, the cash thing, it's, um that can be like a sort of entry level thing, you know, because there's nothing really conspiracy theory, controversial, woo woo, you know, whatever these things get labelled as with the disappearance of cash. A lot of people across every spectrum don't want to lose cash. They can see, oh, hang on, this is going down a bit of a, a pathway that I'm not I'm not on board with here so it it's one of those openers yeah it, it's one of those openers for people um and then you know it, it what we're still at that point where you've we've got the dots still needing to be joined but I do think we're a lot further down the road with that now I think you know it is starting to come together because as people realize <clears throat> that all of these um unelected bodies and corrupt governments and they're all singing from the same hymn sheet it starts to get things whirring in there like well that's a little bit suspicious so we are heading towards the truth you know that that's what this is about precious. Yeah, I think people a lot of, want to know. I see it as people have got these sort of like, they're like, something's not quite right. Yeah, they're uh, little. <laughs> this feeling in my gut that there's something going on and I'm not quite sure what. Um, sense of unease mm. um, about the way of the world at the moment. And I, you know, think that people are a lot more open to sort of hearing about it and, mm. yeah, the cash thing. And then I, I do, you know, Agenda 30 and yeah because they're all incorporated you know and it's there in black and white this isn't us just plucking stuff out of thin air is this so-called conspiracy theory it's not theory it's right there it's just you have to get yourself a bit informed but yeah right we, we've said for a long time the further down the line we get the more in your face it is the more inescapable, the more undeniable. And so those people that just couldn't entertain any of this in the beginning have to start 
pricking their ears up, like you say. It just and that it's because those seeds have been sown. So there's always um something good will come out of any of these actions that we take. Um especially when they're not from this fearful place of panic and because that can drive people away because they don't want to see it that just freaks them out when you're coming from that empowered place like yes we will not comply no matter what happens whatever the personal consequences are I will not comply and that radiates a certain energy and it, it uplifts people and it makes them feel a bit safe I think when you've got people that really are like you know and it's still scary don't get me wrong I don't particularly want to be dragged off and <laughs> in prison or you know whatever it is um when you're choosing your hill to kind of die on um no but it's just fact it's just a fact even if I wanted to just go well, okay I'll just sort of quietly comply so I, I can't do it it's it's an impossibility and I'm it I does make me really nervous, the, the sort of, you know, stepping up all, a job that I absolutely love. I work in a, a school with um, disabilities and things like autism and stuff, and obviously they're classed as vulnerable people. Um, and so, you know, should this all kind of kick off again, there may well be a drawn that, you know, there's no question, you know, I will not comply, but... You know, I I love my job. I, I know. you know, I don't I don't I really don't put in the position where I'm at risk of losing it. And um, as I say, there is no question. I I'm like you. I don't have it in me to go. Well, I'm just going to comply because it's easier. I yeah. Do it, and and so it's not like I sort of even really have a choice. It just sort of no, you don't have a choice actually. Even my my mm. you know my beliefs, my morals, my that comes first and I can't compromise it even if I really really wanted to so yeah. um yeah it's a little bit of a concern between applying that into um because things will happen as they will there's worrying about it you know make it not happen it will just stress me out and I've got so much to be stressed out about already anymore <laughs> I mean the 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 hopeful thing is that because, like I said, we're not in 2020 anymore. A lot has happened since. Um, and I think, you know, a lot, I, I, I think personally, like having, I did lose my job, you know, I went through that whole thing. Um, and because I wouldn't comply, it just became untenable for me to be. I couldn't do my job. So I had to leave. Um, and I loved, you know, I loved the job, I loved the people, and it was, it was very, very sad, um, but it was just one of those things, like, I can't, you know, even with the desperately trying to bend things to accommodate me, which was lovely, it couldn't be done at that point. I think now um, it would be a very different situation again I was working for a charity um working with people class as vulnerable as a frontline worker all of that stuff um and I think because things have changed and we've seen the impact of lockdowns the inefficiency of um masks you know that all, all of this stuff is kind of out there people aren't the same as they were three years ago you will get the ones that cling on to this. You know, you see the people out and about in their masks still. Um, but then I have more respect for them, to be quite honest with you. It's like they believe, just... they truly believe, whether, they're, well, yeah, whether their belief mean. is neither here nor there. They're not being told they have to. That is their, their belief. Um, you know, whether I agree with it or not, what they're not doing is on, off, on, off, because they're being told. So there's some more, there's actually more intensity no, I take, yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> completely, completely. Yeah, and, and and stand by it. You know what I mean? Like not. Yeah, you know. even if it's misplaced, you know, all of these these things. It's like, well, at least they, you know, they're actually it's their own volition. They're not being told, and then they're like, oh well, just you know, just because they're told, oh, it's all right. You can take. Yeah, it it's the people that. Okay. 
doesn't work and I I know that you know it's it's really pointless but I'm going to put it on anyway people that that really kind of yeah yes they're the ones that you like yeah <laughs> um yeah so where will we lead will we leading to anywhere with this I don't know we're just kind of whatever yeah. comes up really isn't it we run our own yes we're just doing our own particular style of, of ranting chat again usual, I don't think it? we're going anywhere we've just we, we were talking about the protest we've meandered off as we do yes um I was gonna say something about now what was it was it about mm? you just say you're gonna mention maybe perhaps mention what you're up to oh um well I've got I'm not actually gonna say <laughs> I'm working on something at the moment that is very big actually um with some others and and exciting yeah, it's very exciting I'm very excited. exciting not quite at the point um where it's kind of ready to be properly announced but it will be soon so I have got a lot a lot going on actually on all levels a lot of stuff a lot of oh you know we're always talking about the balance and and it is a constant bath I haven't got there I just haven't found it I, I just you know I am feeling very um pulled in opposite directions because I've got a lot of stuff going on um which is all sort of yeah stand based and and activist but you know all, all all of this the freedom movement and blah 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 and then I've also always always got this whole spiritual journey all of these things happening and it's very difficult to you can't choose one or the other I can't anyway I, I keep break you keep breaking up for me I miss I know so do you it's, it's frustrating me so I keep missing little bits of them I trying know. to gather together what you said out of like <laughs> hopefully it'll come across to you guys all right but but yeah over here it's like jittery yeah it keeps going so I didn't catch what you said then. It's that they're interlinked. Yes. Yeah, definitely. You can't... You know, all the paths are, are sort of so into where I'm sort of separate. I'm going, I'm going to focus on this today. I'm going to focus on that today. It's all... Um... Yeah, it's hard. It is hard because it does drain you. Um, because, you know, part of me just wants to go and find a cave somewhere. And, and grapple with all this internal you know it, it's it's who I am it's this is this is literally who I am so for me the spiritual battle really is the massively overarching thing for me it always has been it's I see everything through this lens um and always have done one way or another so it's not something I can brush aside it's just there but at the same time there are also the the kind of the more practicality like in the world this is going on what action is required blah 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 and it's it's a lot and it all seems to be ramping up everything alongside each other at the same time so it's not like oh well that's a bit quieter there so I can fight no no no, it's it's both equally demanding, and I, so I'm just finding myself like this a lot. And then, as we were sort of chatting about before, because we always have a little pre-recording natter, it's just like you end up not getting any of it, or not feeling like you're getting anywhere with any of it because you're just like a <gasps> rabbit caught in the headlights. So that's that's kind of kind of where I'm at, really. But it's it's quite there's a lot of interesting stuff going on with all this. 
with all the with that sort of personal or spiritual so I'm being led down paths that I really never thought I would be and sort of questioning beliefs of mine that I'd never questioned before becoming open to other things that I was just completely I wouldn't say close but just just wasn't wasn't for me just disinterested you know and just finding things that hello you oh gorgeous girl thanks so yes a lot a lot going on a lot going on and just trying not to panic too much about it yeah tell me about it (laughs) yeah it's um but it always seems to be a collective or at least you know some part of the collective like yes I know what you're talking about. We're never on our own in these things. As much as you can feel really isolated. No one could possibly understand um, because, you know, you're going through it You're on your own, effectively, but you never are, really. It's We're all kinds of moving through these things. And, uh, and I think what we're seeing now is that intention whether it's really conscious or not for truth, people, more and more people wanting to know the truth, even if it's like unpalatable and it's not maybe what you would want it to be. Um, it's that desire for it. You're seeing it manifest, aren't you? So a lot of the the bullshit and the propaganda, it's failing miserably because it's not in a conducive environment anymore. Well, that's how I kind of see it. Yeah, I sort of, um, I mean, it's only really been back at work. Um, this is the second week back at work, so in a school, six weeks holiday. So I've not really had much contact or, or sort of it, it, to, to get an idea of, of actually, you know, how much people are actually absorbing this new kind of wave of bullshit that's coming our way. Um, now I'm finding it interesting sort of, being back around because most of the time I, I I do live in a bit of an echo chamber with people that you know Same. all my friends now are people that yeah you know uh, they know what's going on mm. um so it is interesting to sort of try and gauge whether this is actually being absorbed by the collective or not mm. um and I think it'll be interesting to see what happens but um yeah. Yeah, it will be. But I think most of us agree that whatever does sort of play out and it's not going to be the same as it was in the beginning, that you just kind of instinctively know or or people that are in more contact with um, the normies um, are seeing it a lot. And actually, you know, to be fair, there there are just like just coming into contact with people that you didn't know like through work for example um just yeah you know just people that you've never met before and just getting on to the conversation however you know there's just this little in and it turns out they're wide awake you never would have known there are way way more of us than yes you i have found know. that actually in uh yeah with a few um mm. people i've had sort of having mini natters with yeah um, Mm, there's a lot more that I mean yeah go back three three and a half years whatever you know it, it, it where were these people you know hence like the stands and all of that it's like my god where we've got to find each other but now it's you can make the assumption that when you're sort of out and about that oh none of them know you know but actually a lot of people do and even if they're not like fully sort of um aware of or as aware as it's possible to be of, of what is is happening there's definitely way more questioning and just sort of all oh, that bullshit about um the new variant you know all of those things it's just not it's not working looking at it 
from from what I see, and I avoid the news, I avoid going to, but from from what I can see, it's it's not working like it did before, which can only be a good thing. Um, and like I've said before, I just don't invest your energy into it. Yeah, that's what I've um. Well, then again, to be fair, by the time I finished surviving the day, I, I have very little energy for anything else. So to be fair, I've I've not really been sort of keeping up too much with recent news and developments and anything sort of in the mainstream anyway it's just fear it's just going to be fear mongering and that we're prone to it actually in the alternative i was going to say the same well, thing it's, it is on both sides so, and i see anything that is eliciting this fear response is is kind of worth you're going playing yeah you're playing into their houses that's all they want feeding. that's what they 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 thrive on is, exactly. is this because i you know i think everyone know, who knows us knows that you know we, we're very much a energy based frequency based believer people and and that actually you know the more you emit fear and you know all that kind of stuff the more you're feeding and manifesting what we actually don't want um and actually the key is to be sort of focusing on what you do want yeah you're still ever, ever mindful of the crap that they're trying but being mindful and aware that that's going on is very different from being locked into it and avidly following yeah, whatever yeah. just you know don't give it we we know where we want to head yeah we got our eye on you mate but we're, we're going this way we'll we'll sort you out but don't if you're if you're in that frequency of fear they don't care who's who's put the fear there oh well this isn't the same quality of fear because it's from their own side no fear is fear so yeah. we just don't don't go down that path and and don't sort of bring it don't make it a part of your life don't make it a part of your life just say, yeah well, i've got an eye on you i know i know what you're up to but we're going this way so there we are we're just about out of time mm -hmm. so hope you're all doing well keeping on keeping on and whatever that means <laughs> whatever that looks like as whatever long as you're just keeping is. on keeping on like Good give on yourself that on. Exactly. It ain't not easy. no it's not and we shall see you again who knows when hopefully next week we'll we'll just you know <laughs> we'll we'll get on here when we can but yes in the meanwhile any huge the love to them. yeah well speak to you soon take care Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.